Welcome to Camarillo, Camarillo. California. Ooh, life is sweet. Camarillo is nestled at the base of the Conejo foothills, surrounded by verdant green farms. Founded by Adolfo Camarillo, this area is known for its California history, charming old town, and abundant farmer's market. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, we are at the Baby Root You Pick'em Farm here in Camarillo, and we are picking blueberries, blueberries. today. This is a special Ooh. farm. They do regenerative practices, so it's really helpful to the land and the earth. And look at this crop. Yum. This is one of the only agricultural regions close to LA, so it's really special to be here today. A really great experience. We highly recommend that you guys come out here. Look at how ripe these are. And the ones that are deep blue and come off easy are ready to go. The farming here is very high tech. You can see it from the freeway. Guess what's grown right here? Strawberries. And if you like this harvest as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button down below. Look at today's harvest. Fresh Camarillo strawberries. Woo! These are blackberries? These are blackberries, yeah. Wow. The Baby Root Farm was not only fun, but educational. And if you'd like to order your own produce, check out Farmivore at the link in the description. Hey guys, we are at the Camarillo Historic Ranch here in Camarillo, California. Look at this awesome historic barn. We're about to look at a piece of California history. Built in 1892. Mike, how did Camarillo get its name? Camarillo got its name from Don Adolfo Camarillo. And we just toured his beautiful Queen Anne house. It was like stepping back in time. So it was an old California family and they had started this ranch and started really actually developing it in great detail in the late 1800s. And they held on to the ranch for many, many decades after. It showcases how California was once predominantly agricultural to how it became electrified and became this modern superpower. Although California's agricultural roots are still strong. Here you can see the Camarillo family with their horses. So Adolfo Camarillo came here via a land grant, a Mexican land grant. And he had a number of acres here where he owned cattle, he had horses, and then he changed to crops. And can you guess what the main crop of the day was back in the early 1900s? It was lima beans. They were huge, hugely popular. The most famous crop in this area probably today is now strawberries. They're very famous here and they're very sweet. And they are in season from April until July. This, he had horse racing here okay, and okay. he lived here when there was absolutely nothing in Camarillo. Nothing here. He was a pioneer and he was very innovative. One of the most interesting things we saw in there was he had a walk-in refrigerator. We are at St. Mary Magdalene Chapel here in the beautiful city of Camarillo. This was built in 1913 by Don Adolfo Camarillo for his family. We're looking at 108 years of California history here. And you know the funny thing is, when you're traveling up the central coast from Los Angeles on the 101, which is the former Camino Real, um, you always look at this colonial era church, but we never stopped off to admire its beauty until today. And check this out. Isn't this a beauty? Hey guys, we are in the Camarillo area at a hiking trail called Rancho Potrero. And look at all this wide open space. The ride up here was really beautiful. Mountains in the background. We brought our dog. Let's go check it out.
after enjoying the views of the Conejo Mountains, we worked up quite an appetite. So it's time to check out the local food scene. We are at Frida's Kitchen. They have artisan pizza. Right next door is Topa Topa Brewing Co. Really awesome indoor outdoor brewery here. And we got one really special one. It is hard seltzer, blood orange flavor. Woo! Cheers. It's time to check in to one of the newest hotels in the area, the Sinesta Select. We are at the Sinesta Hotel. We have a king suite here. We have a nice living room. Best of all, we have a patio. The Sinesta Select suites and outdoor space make it the perfect place to bring your family and your furry friend. Speaking of pet friendly, Camarillo is known for a brunch spot, fun for all of your four-legged friends. Look at this, they even have a dog menu. Ground beef, brown rice, butternut squash, peas, carrots, and kidney beans. We're at Braxton's. It's a super popular breakfast spot here in Camarillo. I got the avocado toast. It has a beautiful sunny patio and it's very dog friendly. So check them out. Woo. The foodie adventures don't stop as we head over to the Camarillo Old Town. Hello and welcome to the Camarillo Farmer's Market. We're gonna go check it out. Join us. German sausage. Hello guys. Hi. Blue's gonna like this. Alaskan salmon treats. What'd you get, Mike? Baby carrots. Baby carrots. Look at them. They're sweeter than normal carrots. So the farmer's market is open on Saturdays from 8.30 till noon. So adjacent to the farmer's market is the Camarillo Old Town. Let's go check it out. We are at Café Pincel. It's a boulangerie and patisserie. And we got putting the fig salad and the avocado tartine. Strawberry season. Woo. And a red onion. Now it's time to hit up one of the locations that makes Camarillo famous, the Camarillo Premium Outlets, located right off the freeway. We hit up some of our favorite stores for travel gear, including Columbia and the Nike store. After scoring some serious discounts, it's time to check out something that's free for everyone, the Camarillo Sunset. Right now, we're walking through Camarillo Grove Park. We brought our dog, Blue, and the weather couldn't be more perfect. Check out these views. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video showcasing Camarillo. Definitely come here, do a staycation, stop off, pick some beautiful strawberries and vegetables, and hit the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe for the next video. Woohoo!